Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Johnny, and I'm really excited to be talking to my good friend, Dr. Stephen Masley, today, who you may know as the host of the single most successful and popular PBS special in the country on health, the, um, the Heart Tune-Up book based on his 30-day heart tune-up, uh, 30 Days to a Younger Heart. And Stephen and I were just in attendance just hours ago at, at the American College of Nutrition annual conference. And Stephen, we heard this lecture from Jeff Bolick about high-fat diets, about ketogenic diets, and it's, I've just been dying to debrief with you all day and get your feelings about this. Here he was basically uh, talking about uh, how good saturated fat can be for you in, in the absence of carbohydrates. So it, it basically making the case that this is a necessary and good fat. Did he change your mind on anything to do with saturated fat? How do, how do you feel about this whole ketosis thing now? Well, he really did answer a bit for athletes when you're doing these long, I was so impressed by the athletes' presentations too. They felt better. They didn't have the highs and lows that people do when they're carb loading for these endurance sports. I should, so mention, that, that, that I should mention to the audience that Jeff brought with him two in, ultra endurance athletes that he has been working world with. Class, with like world class, like record in the world. Yeah, one of them held the world record in the ultra marathon, was it? And he was talking about miles. 50 mile runs that he does it sort of yeah. casually. It's like well, my worst. Like, I'm not going to push it today. I'm just going to do a 50 mile run. <laughs> exactly. So you have to understand these guys were in phenomenal. The other guy was like from special forces. And these guys are not just eating high-fat diets to lose weight. They were as lean as you could get. And, and so is Volick, by the way, the, pre right. the presenter. They're not doing it for performance because you don't run out of fuel. They, he made that point eloquently, that instead of having highs and lows in the day and your energy goes up and down, if you, once you tap into that ketosis fuel, it's just a consistent, reliable source of energy. And clearly for these athletes, it was working. But why would it not be for a non-athlete? If you have, you oh, if you're 69 I'm, saying, I'm just saying, I had always thought it would, you asked me, what would be the, what did I get from this? Right. What I got was, you know, an athlete could do that. Because I always thought they would run out. It would be too hard. It wouldn't be, I mean, he convinced me for an yeah. athlete it would be awesome. Um, but the other thing I really got out of it was when you talk about that special forces person, he had major brain injury. He had trouble thinking. Yes. And when he switched to this new fuel, you know, more of a high fat fuel, it helped improve his brain function, which so you and I have talked about at some length that a high fat diet with the other fiber and healthy nutrients with it would be really awesome for brain performance. So for, for people who are following ketogenic diets, and I, for example, Atkins stage one or, or the, the, uh, the high fat diets that seem to be making a comeback, what, what do you see as the major liability of a diet like that? Is it, do you see it as being any kind of risk to, uh, to, to, to the heart? Do you see it as being positive for the brain? What, you have what to get their other nutrients. I mean, the, the worst scenario, I'm sure you would agree, is someone just goes out and eats bologna and hamburger and processed yes. hormone and chemically enhanced food. Right. Right. Um, you've got to do it in a clean way. So it, ha I mean, so the biggest liability is you have to do it well. You, and you need all those other nutrients. There's a lot of nutrients you'd be missing with all that, without all that plant matter, without all that, you know, vegetable matter. So I think if you're going to do this, you'd have to do it with a high vegetable intake diet at the same time. And that would be just optimal to combine them. And, and that would also take care of the biggest argument against high-fat diets, in my opinion, which is the absence of fiber. Well, exactly. So, so if, you could, if you could somehow combine... Or healthy fat, I mean, that would be, I think, that if you do that in that combination, it's going to be awesome. So in other words, your objection, if there is an objection, I don't mean to put words in your, in your mouth, but if, if, if your only concern with a high fat intake is not the fat so much, as long it as it's high fat, it has to do with the absence of things like fiber. Well, it has to be clean fat, and I, I know you agree. Right. And, and it has to have those nutrients you get from fiber we don't get from any other source. Right. Right. Well, maybe we should write a book that incorporates those two things. That would be that would be great. That'd be the holy grail of diet books. And perfect book. <laughs> it would And then make the food taste awesome at the same time. It sounds like a formula to me. Stephen, thank you so much. Stephen Masley, the uh, the thirty day heart tune up is his book. I, I recommend it highly. Watch his PBS special. Thank you again for being with us. This was fun. Thank you.